Hello everyone, myself Ramji Patel. In my previous video, I showed you how we can play the music recorded on an audio cassette. And today in this video, I am going to show you how we can record a new song on the audio cassette. So let's get started. For that, we need a cassette mechanism and a motor speed control circuit and a playback amplifier for playback of the music and a bios oscillator circuit uh, and power amplifier to drive the loudspeaker and a 4 ohm 5 baht loudspeaker uh, a 20k potentiometer and the record amplifier with recording equalization and a microphone amplifier to record the voice on the cassette so first of all here is the main circuit on the breadboard and this is a playback amplifier and uh, these here is a bias strap you can see it is an inductor coil and here is the lm358 operational amplifier that is used as a record amplifier and here is the la3210 ic that is used as a record equalizer I am powering this record amplifier and the bias oscillator with my 12 volt lab bench power supply. And I have connected this record amplifier and the bias oscillator together. And here is the supply wire. This is the black wire and this is the red wire for supplying the power to this bias oscillator and this record amplifier. And I have connected the supply wires of this playback play amplifier and the power amplifier here so during the playback we connect the alligator clips of the power supply to the power amplifier and playback amplifier and during the recording we disconnect these alligator clips from here and we connect this alligator clip to the power input wires of the record amplifier and bias oscillator this, this high frequency signal is applied to this erase head to erase the cassette and also a part of bias is connected to the record head here is the output wire of the bias oscillator and this yellow and orange that it connected to record head and here is the inductor coil in series with a 330 picofarad capacitor this forms a parallel lc tank circuit and this is called a bias trap because it traps the high frequency current to enter towards and the playback preamplifier so basically the frequency of this parallel lc circuit should be matched with the frequency of this bias oscillator circuit and you can see that i have connected the bias to this bias strap and here is the 47k register and a 330 picofarad capacitor and the output of the playback amplifier is connected to the record head with a wire strap and a 27 kilo ohm register in series and here are two diodes these two diodes are for automatic level control and we have applied the audio to the input of the record amplifier and here I have connected a 3.5 mm audio jack to my microphone circuit and I am powering this microphone with a 9 volt battery and I am powering the motor speed controller with a separate 12 volt 2 amp. Now I am going to start the recording. So for that disconnect this alligator cap from the playback preamplifier and connect it to the output of this record amplifier and disconnect this power supply alligator clip from the power amplifier and connect to the power input bias of this record amplifier and bias oscillator circuit and now to record uh, press the play button of the mechanism hello 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 myself Ramji Patel and today in this video I am going to show you how we can make an AC bias tape recorder Hello, hello, 
वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर हेलो 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 दिस इज़ दी प्ले बैक प्री एम्पलीफायर एक्चुअली आई एम नॉट एक्सप्लेनिंग यू अबाउट द सर्किट्स आई एम जस्ट स्पीकिंग समथिंग टू रिकॉर्ड ऑन द ऑडियो कैसेट एंड हेयर इज द बायोसोसलेटर हेयर इज़ द रिकॉर्ड एम्पलीफायर एंड हेयर इज़ द बायो स्ट्रैप एंड हेयर इज द लाउड स्पीकर हेयर इज़ द पावर एम्पलीफायर एंड हेयर इज दिस टेन क्यू ऑम पोटेंशियो मीटर टू कंट्रोल द वॉल्यूम एंड हेयर इज द मोटर स्पीड कंट्रोलर हेयर इज द कैसेट ऑन विच द साउंड इज बींग रिकॉर्डेड नाउ प्रेस द स्टॉप बटन एंड प्रेस द रिवाइन बटन ऑफ द टिप and then connect this alligator clip again to the input of this playback pre amplifier and again connect the power supply alligator clips to the power input of this power amplifier and playback pre amplifier and press the play button of the cassette mechanism hello 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 myself ramji patel and today in this video i am going to show you how we can make an ac bias tape recorder hello hello 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 hello 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 and this is the playback pre amplifier actually i am not explaining you about the circuit i am just speaking something to record on the audio cassette and here is the bias oscillator so we have successfully recorded our voice on the audio cassette and the sound quality is really awesome because i am using the ac bias instead of the dc bias for biasing the recording tape now to record the audio disconnect this 3.5 mm audio jack from the microphone pre amplifier circuit and connect it to your audio source i am just connecting it to my laptop again connect this alligator clip to the output of the record amplifier and again disconnect the power supply alligator clip from the power amplifier and playback amplifier and again connect to the power input of this record amplifier and this bias oscillator and press the rewind button of the cassette mechanism and press the play button and now play the audio wait for some time now stop the recording and press the rewind button and then again connect this alligator clip to the input of the playback pre amplifier and again connect the power supply to the power amplifier and playback amplifier and then press the play button of the cassette i have successfully recorded my voice on the audio cassette and i will explain the circuit diagram of this ac bias tape recorder in my next video because the video is going longer so i am not just explaining the circuit here for that wait for my next video thanks for watching